presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, has described the Supreme Court judgment on the 2023 election as a show of unreasonable force, claiming that the apex court sacrificed justice for political governance. He made the remark at his first briefing after the Supreme Court judgment on his 51 grounds appeal, challenging the ruling of the presidential election petition court. This is a formal reaction of the Labour Party presidential candidate, Peter Obi, after the judgment by the Supreme Court delivered on October 26, 2023. He described the Supreme Court judgment as breach of confidence. He said he has taken time for a deep sober mood on the court decision as the country is confronted with weighty issues of national interest. We get this man that I observed that the court's decision contradicts the overwhelming evidence of election rigging, false claim of technical glitch, substantial non-compliance to the rules set by INEC itself, as well as matters of perjury, identity theft, and forging that has been brought to light in course of this election matter. These are hasty allegations that should not have been treated with levy. While answering questions about the Tinobos government, will be forked the 2023 supplementary budget proposal, particularly the sum of 1.5 billion naira in marked for vehicles for the office of the first lady, five billion naira on a presidential yacht, and another 12.5 billion naira on the presidential air fleet. 26.5 million Nigerians will go hungry next year. This is an issue of national importance that we can go for supplementary budget. But I will have a supplementary budget where we are mentioning issues of Yachts, where SUVs for first lady's office shows to the extent that we, this government is totally uncaring and we're in deep trouble. Obi, who seems to be warming up for the 2027 presidential election, advised all supporters to remain with the vision and mission of a new Nigeria. Ogie, Ihimekme, EIT News, Abuja. Nigeria's capital.